Hello everyone, welcome back to the trick spot. So today I am back with a new trick. Yeah, you heard that right, a new trick to remember the electronic configuration. Now learning the electronic configuration with respect to the orbitals is a very tedious task, I know that. So to make that work easy, I am here with a new trick. So for that trick, you need to make a triangle first. Yeah, you heard that right, you actually need to make a triangle. So after making a triangle, we will draw 5 horizontal lines in the triangle. So let us do that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the last 6th one is the side of the triangle. So that is how we do it. Now we will label the apex as 1. Now as we come down towards the on the right hand side we write 2, 3, 4 and 5 only till 5 on the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The same way we do on the left but on the left we will write all the numbers till 7. So after 5 we go towards 6 and 7 also. So that is how you should draw 5 on the right and 7 on the left. Now the numbers on the right will have the suffix s. So that will become 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s and 7s. So these are our s orbitals. Now what about p? For p we will do the we will put the suffix as p on the right hand side. So 2p, 3p, 4p and 5p. Now let us come to d orbitals. Now d orbitals start from after 4s right. So after 4s uh, we make tiny grooves on the line and then we write 3d, 4d, 5d and 6d. So we got our d orbitals. Okay. Now what about f? The last two lines will carry two grooves before the d orbitals. And that will have our f orbitals. So on the 6th line we write 4f. And on the 7th line we write 5f. So we got all our orbitals right. S, P, D and F. Now we will start. We will put one S on the top one. So that is our S orbital. Now we will start by 1S, 2S and then 2P. So that is how we write that. So 1S, 2S. 2p. Then after 2p, yeah, after 2p, we will come diagonally towards 3s and 3p. So we write 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p. So let us write 3s and 3p. Now after 3p, we come again to 4s, 3d, and 4p. Okay. Now after 4p we again go on the on the left 5s 4d 5p 5s 4d 5p after 5p again we do the same thing we come diagonally to on the left that is 6s 4f 5d four f 5d then there is no 6 P, okay, so we ignore that and we directly come on the next line that is 7s, 5f and 6d. So that is how you can get all the orbital sequence without actually remembering even a single thing. So let us revise again 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s, 4d, 5p, 6s, 4f, 5d, 7s, 5f and 6d. Thank you.